Hi there. Well, let me give you the short version. Uh, a week ago, uh, one of our servers crashed. Long story, I won't get into the details, but in that server included two virtual machines. One was our website hosting and the other one hosted our email for our clients. And both of those servers went away in an instant. So we were uh, on fire and we needed to quickly get the email server uh, going again and the domain, uh, the website host going again. And the best plan we could come up with on such short notice was to move both of those to the same server that we're using here in the store for our, our business server. Uh, it's a very robust business server, very capable. And so it could host these things with no problem. So. Nginx was already running. Uh, we installed Postfix and uh, Roundcube and got those up and running. And everything's working well. Um, people are getting their emails, websites are displaying, Roundcube's working perfectly, no problem. Today, a unique problem came up. On this same server, we host the domain name, the website for CompuMatter.com, which you see here on the background. Okay, that's coming off the server that we're talking about. Um, my email for CompuMatter.com is not hosted in the server. It is in fact hosted on Google and Gmail. You can uh, see uh, here that we have the MX records all pointing to Google for uh, email related items. Okay, so that's the backstory. Now let me give you specifically what our problem is. We have here on the screen, email hosted on our server, on the server that I've just talked about. It started, when we first set this server up, um, we sent the customer a welcome email. They replied to that email in it through an error message, and I'm gonna duplicate that for you right now. We're gonna send an email to j at compumatter.com. And uh, we're just gonna call this the test, test from j. Doesn't matter what I put in it. I'm gonna hit the send button. And as soon as I sent it, it gets kicked back immediately as undeliverable. And the error message says, mail for compumatter.com loops back to myself. I have no idea what that's all about. Mail loops back to myself. Now, I'm not even hosting the email on this server. Now, the server, as I say, in this case, the DNS is hosted by Cloudflare. The email itself lives on Google's uh, work servers. Now, I'm going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to send an, ad, an admin at compumatter.com, which is just another email address within the same. It, it also lives off site. Send it. Immediately return to us. Same problem, same reason. Okay, now I'm going to send an email to, an, to a, one that's hosted internally within the website. Okay, admin at servermatter.com is actually hosted within the same server, is not hosted off-site. We'll send that one. The DNS is still controlled by uh, Cloudflare, however. And you notice immediately in my local Thunderbird down here in the right corner, I have received that email. No problem. Uh, I have another a fellow, a server administrator that I deal with. Uh, He's a very knowledgeable guy, but he has no expertise at all in Samba DNS type issues. Uh, I need to point out that DNS is controlled by Samba on this server. Um, and that in addition to that, we've set up split DNS um, so that when doing things internally, it would route back to the same server instead of having to do a, a hairpin net or something like that. But this problem 
is, uh, as I say, the person can be in the outside world. I'm doing it internally, but this person is in a different city, but they are logged into our box. And so it could be that the split DNS is playing a role. The uh, split DNS is created using uh, a command like this. Zone create local host, the actual domain, in this case, compumata.com, and results in something like this. If we do a Samba tool DNS query to compumata.com, we do in fact see the A record pointing back to the same server. Now, just to see if deleting the zone plays any role at all, I'm going to delete the zone for CompuMatter. Okay, that's successfully gone. And a query to same shows nothing. And I went ahead and restarted Samba, and just in case that was necessary. Okay, and this is to J at CompuMatter, test after the DNS removed, send. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, it's clearly related to that. In fact, if I check my local Thunderbird, I see I, in fact, did get the email. All right, I'm going to put it back. I've uh, re-added the zone and the A record, and now I'm going to restart Samba once again. And we're going to create that email one more time to confirm my suspicions. And there it is. We got it right back again. So now we know what the problem is. Uh, and I'm unsure exactly what the solution is. It could be, in fact, adding that MX record locally. Um, but I'd like your opinion on this. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.